Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com uh, Bringing you another video this week. Um, this one is a very simple small fly. Uh, another check nymphing style fly. And uh, I'm going to use Hemingway products on this. We're going to tie it on a jig hook, which uh, barbless jig hook. And I'm going to use some Hemingway dubbing and some new products here at the shop we have that is Hemingway Transparent Holographic uh, Peacock Quills. Synthetic tapered peacock quills, but these are holographic ones. The one we're going to be using is an uh, olive color. Um, really cool looking. Uh, gives a little bit of flash into the body. I think you'll really like it. And uh, let's get into tying it. Okay, this is the Hemingway Quill Body Jig. Um, really simple couple materials. Like I said, uh, cocktail on tail. The hook is a Hannock 450BL. Um, we're tying this one in a size 16. The bead we're using is a 764th or a 3mm copper bead, use whatever color you like. Slotted tungsten, of course. Um, thread, I'm just going to use some water, or sorry, some uh, cream colored thread. And the dubbing I'm using is Hemingway's dubbing. Uh, I've been using, I bought the, uh, you can see the pack here. It's a combo pack with all the different colors of ice dubbing in it. I'm going to use the olive color in it this time. Uh, really easy fly to tie. And here is, I'm going to zoom out just a hair so you can see this. This is the new holographic quill, quill bodies. You can see the shininess to it. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, it, it's got a little bit of flash when you see the finished fly here. But... The fly is really small, so it doesn't show up as great on this one as it will on, a, say, a bigger one. But we're going to tie it because I like to have some small ones in the box, and I'm filling my, like I, like I say, when I tie these videos, a lot of times I'm filling my box while I'm tying the videos. So we'll get the hook in here, like I said, the H450BL, size 16 Hannock, with a 3mm or 764th bead in copper. First thing I'm going to do is start with some cream thread going to put a couple wraps right here by the bead, going to push the bead up the whole way so it's up over the eye, uh, we'll straighten that up in the vice there a little bit, level it out a little, okay, get that up over the eye as far as I can and then wrap my thread up tight against it, and then we'll cut my thread off, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my tail on, and we're just going to come back a little bit, cocktail on, tail, medium pardo, um, you can tie whatever color pardo you have, that, that's not a real big deal, uh, I like, just this is what I have here at the house where I tie at for my videos, so that's what we're going to use, and uh, we're going to use just a couple strands, not many, this is a small fly, we're going to get our tips all together, lay it on top, like always you want it about the length of the fly, you don't want it real long, lay it on top, couple of loose wraps let's get it where we want it there that's a little bit long so we're just going to shorten it up and then we're going to wrap it back here to the bend okay now what I don't want to do is I don't want to wrap it too far that it starts to curl it down over if it does tend to curl down over a little bit you can make a wrap underneath it and pull it up and that will keep it in place where you want it. All right, and then we'll just cut these off. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull one of these quills off of here. These are sticky, and there is it's like uh, it's kind of like I don't know a piece of tape. It's like foil with a sticky side, and it is tapered. Okay, big at one end, small at the other end. What we're going to do is we're going to tie this on by the thin end and we're going to tie it sticky side out so the shiny side is going to go against our hook and we're going to wrap it down now I wrap it from pretty much from the bead back because it's kind of thin and it will break easy and then I'm going to build up and even this out but I'm not going to build up much just enough like I said it's size 16 so you don't want it too thick but I just want to build up just enough to give it a little bit of body and smooth out. And then we're just going to wrap this around. And we're going to just keep wrapping side by side on here. 
with these so you don't overlap it you just put it right beside the last wrap and it's going to give you a nice quill look to it and a very simple quill you don't have to worry about soaking it or you know anything like that it just wraps right on then we'll wrap it right up the head tie it off okay now you see how much I got extra I got a good bit extra here probably better than half of it but this is pretty small for the size 16 I mean sorry pretty large diam width for the size 16 so I'm gonna set this aside on my vise just stick it on there and like I'll tie up a couple size 12s or 14s with it and I'll use that for it because I won't get as nice of a tight tight quill on the small fly that I want so the next thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of wax on here on my thread hit it with some olive dubbing like I said and I'm going very very sparse here I mean really sparse this is a size 16 okay you can tie it smaller if you want and uh, just go real sparse on it wrap it real tight so you're just covering the thread more or less with your ice dubbing and then I'm going to pull it up close to the bead and then I'm just going to make a small collar okay that is about all the bigger the collar I want all right and then I'm going to pull some of this off I got a little bit more than I wanted on there so since I pulled some off I'm going to come back tighten it up Oh, this is uh, 140. You can tie with 170, or sorry, with 70 denier if you want. And then I'm just going to get tight up against the bead, make a couple wraps here, and whip finish it off. And that's a quick little tie that will catch lots of fish. And it's a simple quill, simple way to tie a quill on. These Hemingway products are really nice. The ice dubbing, I really like this ice dubbing. It's very thin goes on very nice I suggest getting it like I said we got it in the we carry the ice dubbing in the um, the combo pack with like two four twelve different colors it's a great thing uh, you run out of one you can replace it uh, that was real quick tied that up in just a couple minutes and uh, that's gonna catch fish so give this fly a try check out all the Hemingway products we carry in the shop now we are expanding our line with um, a lot of the synthetic materials like legs, uh, mayfly legs, stonefly legs, uh, big huge line of these peacock quills. A lot of them in the holographic now. We carry uh, pretty much the whole line of holographics. Check that out and check out some of the new dubbing lines we carry from them too. We really like the Hemingway products and uh, proud to show them off. So give that a look on the shop at wholesingersflyshop.com. Like us on Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. And... Uh, the other one in here and please subscribe to the YouTube channel we're always coming out with new videos updating things and uh, if you subscribe to the channel you'll be the first to know when it comes out thanks for watching everybody I'm Sean Holsinger mm -hmm.